Okay, so you are opening 731, eight page layout. And you're just gonna be working in here to practice. Um, you're not gonna be working in your eight page brochure. So here we've got this table that we created by using convert text to tables. And we made a few changes to it. I'm just gonna go back and change a couple of things back for the purposes of this exercise. So I'm taking my type tool and I'm gonna select row two and three and right click and convert them back to body rows so that we only have one header row at the top and that's the school program and then I'm going to um, just change the background so if I go back to my selection tool show my background layer this is not very visible so um, we could change the text to white but in this case I don't want to do that so I'm going to with the selection tool and with this text frame selected I'm going to change the color to paper and then I'm going to go to the effect panel and I'm going to only change the opacity of the fill. So in other words, the text does not change. And I'm just going to push that opacity down to 60%. Okay, then I'm going to go to object, text frame options, and change the inset spacing on all sides to 5 millimeters. And then we're going to just change the width of the columns here. So type tool. And I'm going to take the first column. And I'm going to change the width to 50 millimeters. And then for the second column through to the end column, I'm going to change the width to, let's go with uh, 20 is good. Okay, and then I'm going to take my selection tool and I'm just going to change the height of this a little bit and move it down so that it's nicely positioned in here. So we've got a, um, a decent looking table, but it's not really properly formatted yet. Now what we want, and this is something you're going to likely want when you're working in a larger brochure, is a consistent look for all of your tables and here is where you can use styles so in a previous learning unit you learnt about uh, character paragraph and object styles well we also have cell and table styles as well and they all kind of have to work together to to format a table so it's a little bit more tricky than just applying a normal style so we're going to go back to this page to this table that we've already styled and we're going to use this and pick up the styles from here and build a table style that we can recycle for the other table. Let's just assume that we've got lots of tables in a, in a, a multi-page document. So it would be worth the effort. In this case, probably not worth the effort because it's only two tables. But uh, for productivity purposes, when you're working with lots of pages or maybe a monthly edition of a publication where you're going to want the tables to be consistent all the time, it's worth the effort to do this. Okay, so I want to see this uh, horizontally and not vertically. So instead of rotating it, which is going to mess up my layout, I'm going to actually temporarily rotate the page. So I'm going to go to Pages, Options, Page Attributes, rot Rotate Spread View, 90 degrees clockwise. And then I'm just going to zoom in here. So what we've got to do first is we've got to create paragraph styles for all the different text styles in this document. So I'm going to take my type tool and select the heading and I'm going to make a paragraph style and I'm going to double click on it and I'm going to call it table heading. And I'm also going to make a style group called table. And let me just make this taller and all my table styles are going to go in there so they don't get mixed up with my other stuff. Okay, then we're going to take the second row and we're going to make another paragraph style and we're going to call it table row two. And I'll put that down here as well. Okay just correct that it shouldn't have a backslash um, okay then the third row 
I just need to select some of the text. I'm going to make a paragraph style and I'm going to call it table row 3. And that's going to go down here. Alright, then I'm going to take some of this text and I'm going to make a new style and I'm just going to call this a table body. Okay, and that can go down here. Let's try and put them in the order that they appear. Alright, then I'm going to go to this footnote, select it, and table footer. Let's just put the table footer at the bottom there. So we've got all the paragraph styles we need. Now we need to look at cell styles. So I'm going to go to Window, Styles, Table Styles, and you'll see here I have Table and Cell Styles. So I'm going to go to Cell Styles, and the first cell style is this one at the top here. So I'm going to press Escape, so the whole cell is selected, and I'm going to make a cell style double click on it and I'm going to call this uh, header cell style and I'm going to base it on the paragraph style table heading and OK. Alright, then this style here, escape, we're going to call this table row 2 and set it on the paragraph style table row 2. Then this, um, we only need one of these cells to be selected, so cell, and then cell style, we'll call this uh, table body rows, and we'll set the style to table body. Okay, then we're going to, so that's, uh, oh no, that wasn't right. So this table body rows is actually table row 3. Yeah, then here is the table body rows. So table body row, and that will be table body. Let me just double check that 3 again. Table row 3, table row 3. Okay, that was, I needed to correct that. Alright, so then we also have these cells that are shaded to indicate that this is the month that this event is in. So I'm going to make a cell style for that. And I'm just going to call this table shaded cell. And there's no paragraph style for that because there's no text in those cells. Then I'm going to just go to the final footer cell and make a cell style. And I'm going to call this table footer and set the paragraph style to table footer. Okay. Alright, so we're getting there. So now I'm going to select the whole table. And I'm going to make a table style. I'm just going to call this 8 page brochure table style. And now we can start changing some things. So I'm going to say the header row must be the cell style, header cell style. The footer row must be the cell style, table footer. The body rows must be the cell style, table body row. Okay, I think everything else should be alright. So we're going to say OK. And now this whole um, table is thrown out now. So we need to just, uh, let me just correct this. Um, we just need to go in and change some things here. So I need to make sure that these two rows are no longer header rows. So I'm going to convert them to body rows. I'm also going to take this cell and apply table row 2 to it, so that's correct. And this one, this whole row, table row 3. 
Okay, then all of these, the rest of this is fine. So now we can switch to our other table. So we're going to go to Pages, this little icon here, right-click, Clear Rotation. Okay, and we're going to go to this table. Okay, and Type Tool, select the table, and fingers crossed, we go to Table Style and click on that 8-page brochure table style okay so it's actually mostly correct the only thing I need to do now is go to the second row and go to cell style and choose table row 2 and the third row table row 3 because those we couldn't set up with the um, table style so once you've finished formatting the table we need to use those uh, cell shaded uh, cell styles just to shade some of the um, cells here so we're just going to say beach cleanups will be Jan so we select there and we need to make sure that our table styles are open and under cell style we've got shaded cell then bird watching will be Feb edible gardens will be March uh, photography will be April, kite building will be May, and Shakespeare in the gardens will be June. Okay, so if I click away and press W and fit my double page spread in, there we have a very nicely formatted table based on the styles. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and see you next time.